Champagne Supernova by Oasis. We come to the last link of mm. the last show <sighs> after uh, 15 years on Absolute Radio. So, um, again, I thanked our readers before, but honestly, the um, just funny, interesting, informative, honest, um, mm. you've triggered off... Sort of entire shows have been based on one <laughs> funny text or email. Um, I shall miss you. As a, I, so, I suppose I see you as one group. Mm. But um, as I said, you've totally been the fourth member of the team. Uh, speaking of other members of the team, Jenny Foote is our assistant. She was the bad luck charm that brought down the house <laughs> oh, of cards. Bad luck bear. Uh, <laughs> poor bad old luck son. Bear. Oh, it was, uh, poor old Jenny was t- come in and then the show left. Um, so um, she, well, she makes she amazing. makes films. Mm. So you should uh, you should Google Jenny Foot and uh, you know when she's like Tarantino level, you'll say, oh, I saw her stuff early on. Mm. Um, there is a um, Dylan Thomas poem about uh, an, an old man being obliterated in an air raid. You see the analogy? <laughs> That's a lovely thing to end on. Yes. Why do you think I end 15 years of this wonderful experience, which has frankly changed my life, as of mm. you, may I say. And you're ending it with a story of an old man obliterated. Yes, because that poem ends with an 100 stalks perch on the son's right hand and it's on about stalks representing birth life goes on and our producer Sarah is going off to have a baby oh. <laughs> which is uh, fantastic oh. and uh, let's face it more important than this and we wish her don't cry <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sarah was a fan of the show originally, wrote to us, we read it out, she did. and then became the producer. I've yeah. watched, uh, we were at a wedding. Mm. You know, I've announced. I can't believe she invited um, us. <laughs> I've announced the birth of my child on this show. It's been uh, for 15 years, it's been sort of my diary, my radio diary. Pierre, thank you so much. You're, um, you've been on it now, how long? Two, three years? Something like that. Two you've years. been great. Thanks to Alan Cochran, who was on before, who never got the ending he deserved. I'm sorry about that. Um, but thank you to him. I hope he's at least got a tiny bit of pleasure from us being <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enough. would not blame him for that at all. Fair enough. I can't mention everyone who's, been, uh, who's hosted the show without tears. So, you know, uh, you know that. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I really, uh, I have to say, of course, at my side throughout this has been Emily Dean, and without her, the show would have been, you know, all right. <laughs> but she has been a key component. We'd have done 15 weeks if it wasn't for her instead of 15 years. Emily, honestly, you've had me laugh so, oh God, this must be terrible radio. <laughs> Good, let's make it pass. Yeah, yeah, let's end on a low. Um, <laughs> really, you've been honestly. I can't say how important I was offered this job. As I walked home, I found um, Emily in the park and said, "Will you do this radio show with me?" And she said, "Oh, thank God, we never had sex. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be friends now." <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, it was a good point. <laughs> but you've got to pick a line. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> we picked the friendship line and it's done us 15 years. Um, good advice. <laughs> I'd like to thank Absolute Radio, who I know they don't love me anymore, but when they did love me, it was great. For 15 years, they gave me like the, one of the, you know, the most joyous jobs I ever had. And... Um, now we're in this big posh premises. It's like I think they've met a younger girl. It feels like a midlife crisis to me. <laughs> Move to a big posh place. Soon the logo will be changing. You know what I mean? Doc? Be an open top sports car. It's the Leonardo DiCaprio. Never past twenty seven. No, we've passed <laughs> the cut off. Well, I've yeah. certainly passed twenty seven, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's no longer registering on on my sat nav. So look, um, thanks for all the people who've sat in as guest hosts over the year. You know, there's loads of you. Uh, 
Zoe Lyons, Steve Hall, etc., etc. Um, it as I would thank all the guests, but in the main, I feel they've let me down. <laughs> Um, but there's been some good ones, but, uh, well, I've got time to mention them, because it wouldn't take long, but I'm not going to. Um, but it thank was us. a gift until the end. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Thanks for, there's been so many letters, messages, cards. Um, a day, with it, people, to the point it's made it hard to <laughs> read out things that aren't about the show. Anymore. Yeah, because <laughs> and, and that has been brilliant. I'm sorry we're leaving you guys. Um, it's pretty well documented. I don't want to go, mm-hmm. and um, I yeah, I'm sorry I'm leaving, but um, I'm not leaving as the boot print on my trousers proves. So Emily Dean, as you know, has got a fabulously successful, brilliant podcast in which she walks a dog and talks to celebrities. Listen to that. Pierre's got a podcast with Phil Wang called yeah, Bod, Bod Pod. Bod Pod yeah. And he's got a book coming out. So, you know, things are happening. And I've spent my redundancy money on um, <laughs> Lego <laughs> Avengers building. <laughs> And that, I think, will take me through to eternity. Um, You've been um, the best audience ever. Um, I can't do the uh, we'll be back next week because we won't. (laughs) We'll never be back. (laughs) But I love you all. Bye-bye.